idea of this lesson is describing plane shapes. A plane is like um, your teacher's whiteboard or their smart board or their Promethean board. It's like this flat surface right here, okay? So imagine this being a plane. A plane is a, a flat surface that goes on infinitely in both directions and up and down. It just keeps going and going. And there is no thickness to this plane. It is infinitely skinny. So we're everything talking is called a two-dimensional surface. So this is a plane surface right here. Anything that's flat, like your your wall or your floor or a window, just think of those as planes. And they're infinitely skinny, okay? And all these surfaces or all these shapes that we're going to be talking about are within a plane. So same common core strand we've been using um, uh, throughout this whole chapter here, chapter 12, is reason with shapes and their attributes. And then so our question here is what are some ways to describe two-dimensional shapes? Okay, and, and these are just some. We're going to get uh, a lot more involved later in this chapter. We're going to be talking about each little ones. But everything's, uh, if we, you know, on a piece of paper. A piece of paper is like a, a thin, thin plane. Okay, so here we go. So... Um, so, for example, architects, they draw plans for houses and stores and offices and other buildings, and they draw these on a paper, or sometimes they can do it on the computer, but it's a, in a two-dimensional shape, which is like a plane surface. And then, so, um, so look at all these shapes over here. They're all flat. They're all drawn on a piece of paper. So imagine this being infinitely skinny, and there's all kinds of shapes. I see a big square and a bunch of small squares right here. I see these steps kind of look like rectangles. Here's a rectangle. We'll talk more about that later in this chapter right here. So a plane shape is a shape of a flat surface, so it's formed by a point. Uh, that makes up uh, several points. It's formed by points that makes up some curved paths, some line segments, some lines, some things that are called rays, and polygons. We'll get into that more. So, for example, a point, you guys, is just like a, a position in space, okay? So it's a, like on the tip of your finger, there's a point. And on the wall, if you can look at the wall, there's a point there, and there's a point over there, and look up on the ceiling, there's infinitely many points, and you can just you know, hold your finger up in the air and there's a point up there at the tip of that. So a point is just a position or a location in space right there, okay? And then the next thing we're going to talk about is a line. A line, you guys know what lines are. Lines are straight. They don't curve. And lines have arrows on both ends. means they go infinitely that way and infinitely that way right there. And we can draw lines going all kinds of ways. They don't have to go flat like that. We can draw a line like, like this and as long as we had arrows on it, so some oops, I got it in white. So something like, like this. This could be a line right here. So it's going in, in that direction. So if we had arrows on it, then it means it goes infinitely forever in, in both of those directions right there. So, so this line goes infinitely up there and infinitely down there. There's all kinds of lines right here. Okay, so. Uh, uh, endpoints are, are for like a, a line segment. Line segments have endpoints right here. So here's a line segment. Both of these are line segments, but notice they have endpoints. They have a starting endpoint and an ending endpoint, or this could be the starting point. This could be the ending endpoint. It's a piece of a line that uh, starts and ends at two spots right there with the two endpoints right there. Okay, let's just slide that up. Okay, and then uh, the next thing is a ray. A ray has a, it's, a, it's a part of a line, okay, and it's straight, okay, and one side has an arrow on it, so there's a, it goes forever in one direction, and then the other side has, they call it an end point, but it's a, to me it's more like a starting point. It starts here and goes in the direction of a line forever and ever and ever. So rays, they don't have arrows on both sides. They have a, an end point or starting point uh, on one side, and it goes forever in the other direction right there, okay? So let's just slide that up. Well, we'll slide that up right now, okay? So some plane shapes are made by connecting line segments and their end points. So here's an example of a square. So describe the square using math words. Okay, so they, they give us a hint right here. A square has, um, uh, how many how many line segments does this square have? It has, so here's a line segment. See, here's the end point here and here and here and here. So here's a line segment. Here's one, here's one, here's one. So it has four line segments right there. And they meet it at their end points right there. They don't have the end points of the line segments, okay? 
All right, so explain why we can't measure the length of a line. Well, remember, lines go on forever. They don't have endpoints, so you can't measure forever because it just keeps going and going and going and going and going, so you can't measure it. Okay, plane shapes have lengths and widths, but no thickness, okay? So like this rectangle right here it has a length and a width right here, but there's no thickness. And so when it's inside of this plane, you guys, if this plane is infinitely thick, uh, skinny or infinitely thin there's no thickness to this plane this whiteboard right here this rectangle right here is inside of this plane so there's no thickness if I'm looking straight through it but it does have a length and a width right here and we'll talk more about that later as we get more into that right there okay so it's just a two-dimensional shape right here so a closed shape uh, starts and ends at the same point okay now it doesn't have to be a nice rectangle like this one it could be like a, a circle okay there's a closed shape it starts and ends at the same spot so if we started it right here and went in one direction and it ends right there it starts and ends at the same point so there's no open hole right there it's closed okay so it just starts and ends here's another example right here that's a square or or the letter B it starts and ends okay so if I I uh, wouldn't have to pick up the pencil. I just start it and just keep going right there. Okay, so it starts and ends. Um, uh, then it's called a closed shape. Here's a, a piece of a pie or a Pac-Man sort of looking thing. Okay, so if we started it right here and just went around the part of the circle and went in and went over and it ended right there. So it's closed. You can't get inside. There's an inside and an outside. Okay. So um, here's another one. That's another closed shape. There's an inside and an outside. There's another one, a triangle. We'll talk more about triangles uh, and squares and everything later. So in the space below, draw some more examples of closed shapes. So you can draw anything. There's That's called an ellipse. We won't get into that at this chapter, but it's like a squished down circle. kind of looks like a football. There's an inside and an outside. So as long as it has an inside and an outside, that's called a pentagon. That's later in this chapter. Uh, we don't deal with stars too much, but that is a closed shape. So there is an inside and an outside, an arrow or anything. You know, you can just keep going and going as long as there's an inside and an outside. An open shape doesn't have an inside and an outside, and it does not start at one end and stop at the same end. They start and end at different points right there. So like that. So there's no inside or outside right there or something like that. I, that's called an angle. We'll talk more about that later. Well, there's really no inside or outside, so... Anything that doesn't start at one stop part and and end at the same part. So if I went here and started this guy, it would go here, 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 and then it doesn't end where we started. So there's an open space right there. That's why it's called an open shape right there. So any of those, okay, something like that. So they're going to ask us to draw a couple more examples. We can do all kinds of open shapes, something like that. Okay, that's an open shape. There's no inside or outside. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. As long as there's an open like hole inside of there, it's called an open, open shape. Okay, so explain whether a shape with a curved path must be a closed shape or an open shape, or can it be either shape okay so a curved path like a like an ellipse right there that's a closed curved path we started and ended it there's an inside and an outside there's an inside and an outside but we can have something like this this is an open one there is no inside or outside or you know anything like that so so to answer the question it can be either an open or a closed uh, shape on that okay all right so in this plane shape at the right uh uh, uh, is a closed shape or is it an open shape? And explain. Okay, well, this one's definitely closed because there is an inside and an outside. So um, your textbook says they, um, that that it starts at one point and then if you go around, it ends at the same point right there. So, so yeah. So if it starts and ends at the same point, then it's a closed shape, or you can just say there's an inside and an outside right there. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense. And, and take care.